I'm William Weintraub and I'm The Cure. I, I would say his dedication and enthusiasm for the cause of heart health. He's a cardiologist, been in cardiovascular medicine for years, and is truly uh, uh, dedicated to helping all of our uh, friends and neighbors become healthier or stay healthy. I've been involved with the American Heart Association for over 35 years. I first became involved in the Amer with the American Heart Asso Association um, doing research. Um, my very first grants were from the American Heart Association. I've been going to the uh, uh, annual meetings of the American Heart Association since the late 1970s. And he's willing to take that uh, dedication into the political sphere and into the public sphere and to advocate for uh, heart healthfulness, for stroke prevention, and so on. I would like to think that every person can make a difference, and I hope that I've made a difference. What's, re what's really important in making a big difference is for all of us to come together as a community, as together we're much stronger than what any one person can hope to accomplish. My name is Lee Storo, and I'm The Cure. I was the youth liaison to the Advocacy Coordinating Committee here in North Carolina when I was an undergrad. I actually spent a lot of time helping to build and advance the social media platforms that we had here in North Carolina for our advocates. He has served on uh, numerous committees at the national level, done things that uh, those of us maybe at the state level haven't gotten to do, but he has. And so he is um, incredibly versed and so knowledgeable about the issues. You really can make a difference. One person speaking up, whether you have a history of illness and heart disease, whether you're a healthcare provider, or whether you're just passionate about health policy, can really impact the policy decisions that are made in our local communities and in this country. And the more folks that we have at the table contacting their legislators and speaking up, the better policies that are going to get passed. Lee's greatest attribute as a volunteer has to be his energy. He comes full forward um, to everything that he does for us. I was really lucky because my volunteer experiences with the Heart Association really helped me figure out what I wanted to spend my career doing. And I continue to be involved today. I've been to um, State Lobby Day and Federal Lobby Day in the past and definitely plan on staying involved in the future. My name is Yolanda Dickerson, and I'm The Cure. My volunteerism started as a way of thanking my mother for all the hard work she went through, taking care of me when I went through my heart disease as a toddler. Actually, I started out doing heart walks with my company, and heart walks grew into meeting some amazing people like Sloan Garner and her getting me involved in public service announcements and such things I'd never thought about doing before. And that kind of grew into meeting Betsy Vetter and several other key people and getting involved in the advocacy end of it and going to state lobby days and national lobby days and learning how, how laws are made and how we could affect change. Yolanda is phenomenal. She is just a phenomenal woman and she is fearless. She is someone that I remember the very first day I met her, she was in our office making phone calls, thanking people um, for their donations to the Heart Walk. And so she exhibits incredible leadership among her peers. She recruits other advocates, um, you name it, she does it. So there is no one that is as deserving as she is for this award. But I've had to deal with it personally with my own heart disease and having to see family, friends, friends of friends who have been impacted by heart disease and stroke have made me even more adamant about doing whatever I can on my end. Some small contribution to increasing research or 
affecting laws that make people healthier throughout the state and throughout the country and the world. My goal was definitely not to get this award, it was just to train people and the award came out of my hard work and my mission of training as many people as possible in hands-on CPR. I think one of the big things behind Tommy is he really believes this, you know, there are a lot of people who support the mission of what we do, the Heart Association, but Tommy really believes this in his heart and he took on this initiative all on his own, nobody told him to do it and that's what I think is great. My goal is to have one of the people I've trained use um, the technique in hands of hands only CPR and save someone's life. That'd be my overall goal, but I really I can't um, put a number to it. I mean, I just want to keep training as many people as possible. The power of one really was what it was. You know that everybody has the possibility to take action on an issue that they care about, and Tommy did. There's only two steps to it. Um, one, call 911, and two, push hard and fast in the center of the chest. It's just very um, simple and the two most important steps. And at least if they know what to do or they heard of what to do, and they step in and do something, that's the most important thing because there's no chance of them surviving if no one steps in and does anything. The day the governor signed the bill with Tommy there was just, you know, one of my best moments. You know, I would say that, you know, that's the best moment. I know there's another one coming. You know, I just, I just know. I, Tommy has great things in him, and he'll do more. And you know, one of my favorite quotes that I heard a friend of Tommy said to them is that someday, somewhere, someone's going to live another day because of your efforts. And I don't doubt that a bit. And I doubt that it's going to be just one person. I mean, how can you train 600 people in CPR and not save a life or more? I'm definitely not done, no. I'm, de I'm gonna keep going um, throughout my high school career and try to train a thousand people and beyond that, hopefully.